you won't believe the recent development in the case of the James Webb Telescope that has set everyone in awe. It has successfully found 60 new images that have been an integral part of the star clusters. Have you seen them? Do you wish to gain in-depth knowledge about them? Stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe to the channel as we reveal to you the secret behind the stunning images exclusively published by NASA. Let's have a look at the images which graciously display the star clusters and its association with the James Webb Space Telescope. Westerlund 2 It's a massive super star cluster that's only a few billion years old. It is partially obscured by gas and consists of some of the hottest, brightest and most massive stars ever discovered. In the Milky Way galaxy, the cluster is 20,000 light years away. Bank Westerlund founded in the 1960s, but it wasn't until later that it was evaluated for its stellar content. A humongous eclipsing binary WR20A is found 30 arc seconds outside the cluster, about 1.1 parsecs in projection. NGC 1866, multiple generation stars. The globular cluster discovered in 1826 is positioned in the disk of the Large Magellanic Cloud. Multiple stellar populations along with a large number of evolved stars and more than 20 C-feed variables are thought to be present. It is one of the most intriguing clusters for astrophysicists because it allows them to test intermediate aged stellar societies and stellar developmental models. NGC 3603, Extreme Star Cluster. It is about 20,000 light years away from the solar system in the Milky Way's Carina spiral arm. It is thought to be home to Share 25, a blue supergiant star on the verge of erupting as a supernova. Around 400,000 solar masses of gas make up the swirling nebula NGC 3603. A few Bach globules linger within its fast point, named after Bart Bach who first noticed them in the 1940s. NGC 3201 It's a globular cluster in the southern constellation Vela with a low galactic latitude. It was found by James Dunlop in 1926 and has a very low core concentration of stars. This gleaming cluster of stars has some peculiar characteristics that set it apart from the Milky Way's over 150 globular clusters. The Mammoth Stars Within the open cluster Trumpler 16, two colossal stars WR25 and TR16244 can be found. The Carina Nebula, an enormous cauldron of gas and dust located approximately 7500 light years from Earth in the constellation Carina, the Keel, contains this cluster. Panoramic view of star forming, the brightest star forming province in our galactic neighborhood, 30 Doradas, is also home to some of the most massive stars ever seen. The nebula is located in the Large Magellanic Cloud, a small satellite galaxy of our Milky Way, 170,000 light years away. It is the largest and most impactful star forming region known in our galaxy. Pismis 24 1 Stars on a Diet. It is the shining star in the open cluster Pismis 24, which is located within the nebula NGC 6357, which is about 6500 light years away. It was once thought to be the most massive star ever discovered, but it is actually made up of at least three separate objects, each of which is still amongst the most radiant and enormous stars ever discovered. Messier 2 Messier 2 or M2 is a globular cluster located 5 degrees north of the star Beta Aquarii in the constellation Aquarius. It is one of the biggest known globular clusters discovered by Jean-Dominique Maraldi in 1746. Tarantula, a symphony of colors. It's a large emission nebula in the constellation Dorado in the southern sky. The star forming region is located on the border between Dorado and Menza in the large Magellanic Cloud a small satellite galaxy of the Milky Way and one of our closest galaxies to our own. NGC 6093, Swarm of Stars. It's a globular cluster in the Scorpius constellation. It was one of Charles Messier's first breakthroughs discovered in 1781. It is one of the Milky Way's thickest globular clusters with many hundred thousand stars. NGC 4874, in 1785, British astronomer Frederick William Herschel, the first, discovered a giant elliptical galaxy. It's the second brightest galaxy in the Northern Comet Cluster, and it is 109 megaparsecs away from Earth. That's interesting! Hodge 301 It is one of two significant star clusters in the Tarantula Nebula, a region where strenuous bursts of star formation have occurred over the last few 10 millions of years. It's about 168,000 light years away in the Large Magellanic Cloud, one of the Milky Way's orbiting satellite galaxies. 
Trumpler 14. It is one of the youngest star clusters known, with age estimates ranging from 300 to 500,000 years. In Trumpler 14, about 2,000 stars have been discovered, and the cluster's total weight is estimated to be 4,300 solar masses. New stars, the red dots strewn across the comic landscape recorded by the observatory, are forming stars still encased in their gas and dust sacks. Omega Centauri It's a global air cluster in the Centaurus constellation that Edmund Haley first identified as a non-stellar object in 1677. It is the Milky Way's most massive global air cluster. It is thought to have formed as the core remnant of a dwarf galaxy that had been disrupted. Are you excited to know more about these stunning star cluster images? Let us know your views in the comment section below. And that's all for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content. See you in the next video.